from Sene Naupu, captaining Ireland for the first time tonight. Kira Griffin, their regular skipper, injured for this fixture. And England looking for an unbeaten finish to their autumn campaign. Referee tonight, Amy barrett theron from South Africa. She's assisted by Nikki O'Donnell and Tracy Pessingale. The television match official is Neil Patterson. So, Nolly, who are you looking for from this England team tonight? I think with a brace... To really light it up for the Red Roses. Sorry, with a brace of tries, I think Kelly Smith is definitely one I'm going to keep my eye out on. Um, she not only has taken some fantastic finishes, um, but she's also shown a real big defensive effort. And with the speed and the outside backs that the Irish possess, um, I think she's going to be crucial for England. Yeah, she's the leading try scorer in the Tyrrells Premier 15s, Kelly Smith. Two against the USA, one against Canada, and we're almost set. Sarah McKenna gets this underway. England running right to left. In their all-white strips, of course, Ireland in the emerald green. And here's Sarah Hunter, the captain, playing her 108th test match tonight. Zoe Harrison, another start in the 10 shirt for her. Katie Daly McLean waiting in the wings on the bench. Under pressure there was Leanne Riley. Manages to hold on. Karis Williams goes into play scrum half. Harrison again decides to kick through Lauren Delaney at fullback tonight for Ireland Lindsay Pete loose hip prop for Ireland 38 years old with an early carry heavy defense coming in from Lydia Thompson on the far side from England forces the error attacking scrum for the Red Roses yeah, good defensive lead there from Lydia Thompson. Ireland actually had a three-man overlap, um, so by coming in, making a shot like that, she, on, she stopped it at source. Coach, yeah, Lydia Thompson just behind this scrum. No one on the blind side for England. Hunter. To Thompson, that first receiver steps through the line into the island 22. Riley to Harrison. Here's Karis Williams, scored on a test debut against the USA at Allianz Park a couple of weeks ago. Riley again comes the same way. Quick hands from Abby Scott, that's been knocked down by Lauren Delaney. Advantage coming England's way. Harrison again. Here's Hannah Bottomen. Went on a thundering 40-metre charge against Canada at Castle Park last week. Double clutch there from Tatiana Hurd. Just holds on. Harrison again decides to kick through once more. Delaney fields it for Ireland. Only played tag rugby before she moved to England. She plays her rugby for the Herwood Waterloo Ladies Club. Pressure on the clearance there. They do find touch. Yeah, nice, good reaction. Some nice tactical kicking there by Harrison, pinning Ireland back in their 22, probably knowing that there's not too much distance on Delaney's kick. Uh, but I think the, the damage that England forwards are doing with their carries, you can see a clear intent into the inroads that they're making. Yeah, a couple of early grubbers through from Harrison. England win the line out. And they set the line out, drive into action, and they're making good progress too, heading towards the island try line. Bottoman has it in the box seat. There she is in the number three shirt. Five metres out now, England still going. Crowd getting behind the Red Roses. Vicky Fleetwood wants it. Advantage England. And they'll get the penalty.
great work there from England. We saw some early tries from uh, the Red Roses last week against Canada with the same tactic, um, all seven in there. Richard Blaze has obviously done a brilliant job in terms of getting them set early. Not a great lift, um, but they dealt with it well and reformed. Heather Kerr throws to Abby Scott in the middle of the England lineout. That's gone forward, so a reprieve for Ireland. Interestingly, Ireland didn't put anyone up in the air, um, but as, as Abby Scott came down, uh, Leon Loy has just made the tackle one on one, which she's allowed to do, and the ball just got dislodged as it was passed back. Yeah, she took it well, didn't she? But just on the way down, as you say. Count out with a fumble, there's Richard Blaze in the coach. middle of the shot, the forwards coach, Simon Middleton, the head coach to his left. And Scott Beeman, the backs coach up on the coach's gantry as well. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Hey, 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 hey. all right, all right. You guys scrum, we'll sort it out, okay? Six Wait new caps call. introduced for the Red Roses this autumn. Eleanor Perry, Sarah Beckett, Tatiana Hurd, Karis Williams, Claudia McDonald and Lucy Atwood. All given introductions to Test Rugby, and there's Hannah Bottom on the tight head side, just 19 years of age, the Saracen. Looking to put some power on this scrum, just five metres out from the island line. Set! Steady! Wait. Nicole Cronin. He's the scrum, just wheels a little bit. Stay in, stay in! But she gets it clear. Nicky Cohey runs right into the all on, all on. England defence and under pressure there again. That is Cohey actually at the back and she just gets that away. So they remain in their red zone island. Here's the middle. Pretty strange middle. decision there for yep. me, Rupert. They made the kick really hard from themselves by picking into the open of the field. And she's actually taking the taking the kick from near the, the posts. If that was me, I probably would have won a couple more phases to get Miss front Jackson. football. Here comes the line-out drive again for England. Didn't quite work out previously. Well, they have another chance here. They're almost there. I think it's Heather Kerr who's got it under control at the back, and they're over England. And there's the first try. The Red Roses are underway. And Heather Kerr has a try for England. Simple, but very, very effective. Really good work there from Heather Kerr. She's actually a prop and they changed her trade into hooker when there was a few injuries before the World Cup in 2017. You can see a really quick ball transfer to Vicky Fleetwood. The body body shapes are low. And Abby Scott doing what she does well, marshalling them over the try line. Why is it the hookers always pop up in that All right. situation right at the back of the line out drive and get the get the try with all the teammates up front having done the hard work well done Heather Kerr England's first try conversion attempt doesn't quite get there remains at five points in L seven minutes in It's always going to be a tough ask tonight for Ireland up front. Such a physical forward pack. This Red Roses front eight. And then you've got the likes of Marley Packer, Kath O'Donnell and Shauna Brown on the bench. They do have plenty of options. Speaking of which, there's Poppy Cleal. Back, back to Harrison. She's kicked that out of the 22, but keeps it in field. Over the head of Laura Sheehan. Made her test debut against the USA and Donnybrook last week. Scored a try. There's a carry from Nicola Friday. Cohey goes behind the back of Michelle Claffey. Play on. Nicky Cohey goes in and wins the ball for Ireland. But look at that counter up from England. Illegally so, says the referee, in from the side. You already see that line speed from England. Seemingly all England teams at the moment. So well polished in that area, pushing, putting pressure on the opposition. It's really good.
good line speed from England, but I think we'd like to see a little bit slicker handling from the <laughs> Irish. There's a little bit laboured through the hands. There's a knock on there. Um, it's got green. That's easy pickings for a strong it's defensive got... unit. Yeah. in now, Poot, the Ireland captain there in the 13th shirt, formerly of Harlequins, yeah, just Pat. across the road here at Twickenham Stoop. Her husband, George, also what? played for that club before moving to Connacht in Ireland. And Ireland win the line out, Cronin. Cohey. To Michelle Claffey up to the 10 metre line. Cronin again. And Ireland gets something going here with the ball in hand. Short ball to Naupu. They go the same way. Chip through from Cohey, and that one's found touch. I think England will be pleased with that. Um, there wasn't that many options for Ireland, but just giving England cheap ball back there. If you're going to kick it, you need to get it in behind them and, ch and chase them just on the halfway. That's a nice attacking platform for them. Tatiana Hurd from the Gloucester Hartbury Club playing a second test match tonight. And here's Harrison to Cleal up to the halfway line. A twin sister, Brani, joined the England training camp this week as injury cover. And here's Tatiana Heard with a break on the outside. Finds the offload to McKenna. Can't quite get it cleanly to Kelly Smith, and there's been a knock on. <laughs> Just a little hint there of what England are capable of with the ball in hand. Did you see there's not out there? You can see the damage from Poppy Cleo. Um, the the yeah, Irish defence shorten up because it takes yeah, two or three now, yeah. of the green shirts to drag her down. Um, she does it week in, week yeah, out in a Saracen shirt. Uh, but, yeah, unlucky for the offload. I think okay. if that had gone to hand, Kelly Smith would have scampered down the touchline. OK. Possible So we're just going to have a look at something yeah. here. A bit of obstruction is what they're looking at. Neil Patterson, the TMO. It's just coming now. They're teeing it up for you. So you just see Sene Naupu. It looked like she slipped, but yeah, was no, she pushed over that's by that's Karis that's Williams? I think that's what they're Agreed. looking at here, Nolly. Yeah, no, Karis drops the shoulder the into Sene, which means that she can't uh, regather. She does trip, no, um, but you can't take players out of defensive line like that. Your running lines. Oh, so yep. our player. Yep. Number 13. Okay. Yep, penalty obstruction. So yeah, Karis Williams, the guilty party there. Takes it on the chin. Thank you. Just take him back a bit. Okay, time back on. Destruction. So, Ireland into England's half. Field position tough to come by so far right, for them. The Only seven of this Ireland 23 played against England. In the final game of the Six Nations early this year, so many new young players have been overthrown. And the try score, Heather Kerr latches onto it. Riley quickly off the base to Zoe Aldcroft. And the Gloucester Hartley Club back in combination with Abby Scott in the second row tonight. Here's McKenna, another try scorer among nine tries England scored against the USA a couple of weeks ago. Harrison kicks again into the hands of Lydia Thompson. England one quick ball. Harrison again, flat pass. Abby Scott did very well to hold on to that. Leah Lyons with good line speed from Ireland. Harrison again moves it quickly to Karis Williams. Vicky Fleetwood picks up the loose ball. Riley again to Harrison, decides to step through the line this time, tries to offload to Cleal. That's gone up. forward. Turnover ball here for Ireland, can they make something of it? And the little five-foot-one scrum half, Nicole Cronin, just gets it. scragged at the breakdown. That was high-intensity, quick ball for England, wasn't it? Just couldn't quite find that offload to, to Poppy Cleal. Thanks for the quick response of the big yeah. they had, They had yeah. really good width across their play. Um, Unfortunately, there too much, too much, uh, too many bodies in the 
You can see Ireland really scampering across. I think if the ball had potentially gone one phase earlier into the width, then the, the English outside backs would have had plenty of time. Whereas there, as you can see, Karis Williams under a huge amount of pressure as she catches it. Ema Considine with a the tackle there for Ireland on the right wing tonight. Uh, on the line. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You got it. So there's Ema Considine. Remember the University of Limerick Bohemians so Club and Munster, okay, formerly of Ireland Sevens, also does a bit of work for TG4 on the Guinness Pro 14. Bind. Not the only rugby player juggling broadcasting and Come up. playing Nolly. Come up, hang on. There's, I'm not in my international strip anymore, forward, I just okay. throw a ball around ball. a little bit with At the same time, don't step back, OK? Bind. Hold there. Set. Steady. Short arm penalty. For Ireland. And here's Juliet Short. She wants to go quickly. <laughs> that one, yeah. Juliet Short. Born in Newcastle. Grew up in Newcastle. Formerly England under 20s. Incredible story, really. She had a pretty major spine injury a few years ago. Ended up going out to Brazil go. to do some coaching. Got let's back go. into rugby. Yep, let's go. And she is playing for Ireland, a replacement for the regular captain, Kira Griffin, who's injured tonight. Lindsay Pete, 24th cap tonight. With the carry. Quick hands, here's Sene Naupu. A nice straight line from Hurd, brought down by Hurd. Ethan McDermott. Hold here. Counter right from England. Claire Malloy. There's a rugby for Wasps here in London. Ireland having to go so deep to try and get the ball through the hands. Quick hands there from Naupu. Cronin goes in to help out of that breakdown. Here's Pete again. A real workhorse for this Ireland team. Cut out pass to Claffy. <laughs> Leah Lyons brought down by Cleal. No, no, no. I'm working so no, hard to try and get the ball across that gain line, but this England defence watertight at Rex. the moment. And they turn the ball over. Here come England. It's Tatiana Hurd over the island. 10 metre line. This physical midfield of Hurd and Williams. Cleal finds the offload to Kerr. Raleigh to Harrison. Here's Hunter. Spot tackle. Needed to be made and was. Halts the England captain in her tracks. Raleigh just shows and goes. Michelle Claffy's onto her. Harrison goes in to play scrum half. Can't quite get the ball away cleanly. It's clean through now. It's Tatiana Hurd. She's got Smith outside her. Kelly Smith, you won't catch her from here. She's a flying machine. Yeah. Kelly Smith with her fourth try this month for England. And it came from her heart, Gloucester heart, everybody, Tatiana Hurd. She had a little bit of work to do, uh, but she was waiting for that ball and she just could see the try line. You can see the, the rainbow laces plaited into her hair as well, which is nice. It's just a moment they might go back and look at. Did Zoe Harrison knock the ball on at the breakdown, which led to this try being scored? Here it is. Riley, actually, they're looking Maybe at... not that one. I think it's a couple of phases after this where um, Leanne Riley is involved in one of the breakdowns. Did you call an official time off? Otherwise, she's got to kick it. Yeah, you got to go TMO check, check. Neil, TMO check. Here you are. 
Yeah, so here's Riley getting caught up in the breakdown. This is where Harrison, I think, comes in and plays scrum half. There she is. To me, it looks like it's come off an Irish leg. Um, yeah, off for me, it goes and backwards back off the, and then off her shin and then forward. Happy to play on? We'll do one more yeah, happy to play on. Yep, thank you. Trust dance. Play on is the call. So the try will stand to Kelly Smith. Sarah McKenna. Attempts the conversion from out wide with the drop kick, a la Rugby Sevens that she's been playing a lot of recently. Really nice break here from Tatiana Hurd. Captain, that's always a Sucking in the ed edge defence from yeah. Ireland Doesn't and then just good. a scamper in from Kelly Hi. Smith. Yeah, Kelly Smith knows where the try line is, doesn't she? Yep. 13 in the Tyrrells. Four for England in the autumn. It restarts is dribbled over the sideline. So it'll be an England line out. So many options for England out wide. When you think of the likes of the players that are playing sevens at the moment, Nolly, Jess Breach, Ellie Kildun, Amy Wilson Hardy, so much attacking talent available to England in all forms of the game. Yeah, most definitely. Um, but it's an opportunity for the 15s to galvanise now with the sevens um, off with their uh, Olympic qualification this season. An error from England at the lineup. Ireland decides to kick through Kohi. That's gone straight down the throat of Sarah McKenna. She calls the mark. She wants to go quickly, but there's an injured Ireland player. And it is Nikki Kohi. She does not look well yeah. holding on to that right she knee. Alright, I'll have a look. Um, yeah, for me that was um, in live time. I think she hit her just off the kick. I'm going to keep a look at the screen. Yeah. So remember, he's sweeping all the time. So, so a bit of a if there is anything, here, he'll go check, check for me. Yep. Nikki Kohi gets some attention. Yep, thank you. OK, let's get some reaction now yeah. from the Ireland head coach, Adam Griggs. Right, He's cool talking to Gail Davis. Yes, thanks very much, Rupert. He's just a little bit concerned at the moment, aren't you, with what's just happened to your uh, your fly half? No. Any news from the down pitch side? Is she OK? No, it looks like yes. it could be a knee, so, the so we're just waiting to hear if it's uh, serious, but it doesn't look too good. 20 minutes or so in, what, what are your thoughts? I mean, you knew what England were going to do with that pack, didn't you? It doesn't mean you're going to stop them. Yeah, no, absolutely. They've definitely got some dominance in the forward pack at the moment. And um, look, we're holding firm, you know, through our defence. But um, if we have to make that many tackles throughout the game, we're probably going to be in a little bit of trouble. But um, so far, we're, we're making it a bit scrappy. And that's what we probably need to do to halt England's progress. What about the whole experience of your team so young some of them won 16 to be able to play here at Twickenham following that belting test match a little bit earlier I mean how good is that for them and their long-term progress yeah absolutely and that's what it's about you know um, Baben who's on the bench at the moment um, we've also got a number of new caps coming in and November is about that you know making sure that these girls get a, an experience of test match rugby and no better place than Twickenham to really test yourself and um, we've certainly got a test on our hands at the moment just finally what constitutes a good evening for you as a group then Ah, look, we're trying to improve on the performance from last week. Um, we were quite disappointed in how we played, so if we can improve with that, I think we're going to keep ourselves in the game. So certainly looking forward, um, we want to make sure that we take control of what we can, and then who knows? I hope your fly house is OK. Best of luck for the rest of the game. Thank you, Adam. Well, she doesn't look well, Nikki Coe. Here's the truth of it. Very sad to see her limping off like that. But it's an opportunity for Ellen Murphy. He comes on for her test debut. Can you trust it? But to lose your fly half. Can you trust it? So early on in a test match. Yep, let's go. Big challenge ahead for Ireland, Molly. It is, and, and Nikki Hahi is a really talented rugby player. Um, tactically, she kicks the ball well, um, and. Uh, um, a big, played a big part in some of the, the good parts in Irish play last week. Uh, so, real miss for her. Malloy on the charge. Brought down by opposite number Vicky Fleetwood. Here's Aoife McDermott with another carry. 
They go the same way. Naupu plays it back cleanly. Here's Leah Lyons, all 105 kilograms of her, but she's knocked the ball on in contact there, although there's a... No advantage. Advantage coming Ireland's way. Yeah, good rip, and then she lost it. So there's a rip from Cleal and then the knock-on. Leah Lyons plays a uh, club rugby for Harlequins here across the road. Stay exactly where you are. Only scrum after the ball is in, yeah? Well, Poppy Clear was a, a very intelligent rugby player, um, and uh, that's just one of the things that she's added to this white shirt Coach. today. Find! Poppy Clear, one of the Saracens Stand. players that won the inaugural Tyrrells Steady. Premier 15's final against Harlequins Steady. earlier in the year. We'll get you up to date with all the results from the Tyrrells Premier 15s as we go through tonight. Bit of momentum here for Ireland. Michelle Claffey making yards there. Cronin to Murphy. Quick hands. Considine. Try scorer last week. Ema Considine. Malloy again. Murphy slightly behind Pete, but it's gone backwards, still alive for Ireland. She's Cronin decides to dummy and go herself, but Poppy Cleal's up to that. Lyons to McDermott. Good passage of play here for the Ireland women. There's Nicola Friday. Cronin just surveying her options, but an England player just falling on the wrong side. That was Zari Aldcroft. Still alive. Here's a carry from Jamie Deacon. Nine Leinster players, including Deacon, in this Ireland team. And they won the Interpro title this year. Cronin again. Claffy to Naupu. Double tackle from England. It was Hunter. And Scott in tandem. And they've turned it over again, the Red Roses. Has it been snatched back, however, by the Dr. Claire Malloy? Now Riley has it back to Harrison, decides to exit. That's gone over the head of Lauren Delaney. That is an excellent kick from Zoe Harrison. Really big double tackle there uh, from Scott and Hunter, the roommates. Um, as you can see, they bounce quickly up to their feet and work as a duo to drive past and get the ball back. Massive effort from England defence and a superb clearance from Harrison to get this close um, in, into the uh, Irish half. Good to see Zoe Harrison get another start tonight. Talking to Simon Middleton during the week, he said fly half's not a, not a position that he's completely comfortable with the amount of depth at this kind of level for England is that why she's been given another go most definitely Katie Daly McLean has owned that shirt for well now over a hundred test matches um, so it's really important that she has game time and opportunity like tonight on the big occasions to run the show yes the great Katie Daly McLean became a centurion against the USA a couple of weeks ago and celebrated it with a 60 meter try no less what a player Claffy again, getting through a lot of work. The Ireland inside centre. Murphy off the bench for the injured Kohi. It's been fielded by McKenna. England look to counter. She's got Lydia Thompson with her, who's drifted over here from her right wing. Riley. Quick hands between the two midfielders, Williams and Hurd. Here's Harrison again, flat past the bottom, and she does love a carry. The teenager. Riley again to Harrison. Cleal. That was Heather Kerr, in fact, just losing a footing. Turnover, penalty for Ireland. And they need a bit more of that. And it's your teammate, Nolly, Claire Malloy, who came up with the goods. Yeah, I 
definitely have the pleasure of her being on my side at club. Um, the damage that she does at breakdowns d d definitely um, makes you think from a from a def from an attacking perspective. If you go into her channel, she's so strong over the ball. She makes a tackle, whips back onto the feet, and uh, yeah, yep. she puts her head where I wouldn't put my boots yeah, for so sure. Tackle, Having a 64th Test match tonight, she's been to three Rugby World Cups. Won a Grand Slam with Ireland in 2013. Did a medical degree in Cardiff with none other than Jamie Roberts. They were doing their final exams together just before he was heading off to a, a Lions tour to Australia. And she's also still balancing that medical career alongside playing at Wasps and obviously travelling back and forth to Ireland this week. She was over there playing against USA, came back to the UK, went back for a, to pick up an award and has come back here uh, to play this evening. So, um, yeah, she really does galvanise um, this, um, this, the heartbeat of this Irish team. Um, and it's a pleasure to play alongside her at club as well. Yeah, there are very different stages of development, aren't they, these two nations in terms of their women's program. We're talking to Lynn Cantwell a little earlier on the great Irish centre, and she was saying Ireland are pretty much eight years behind England in, in their development. Still no under-18 side, still no under-20 side. So you look at this team out here and the, the fact that they're competing here very well against the Red Roses is impressive. It looks like they picked up another injury, however. Emma Holben is the injured player. So it'll be Sarah Mimner from the Richmond Club here in London who'll come on to replace her. It'll be interesting to see whether Leah Lyons still throws in with Sarah Mimner on the field. One of the best assets as a player is her arrows. Um, it's a shame that, that the hook has gone off so early in the game as well. So Lindsay Pete with a couple of encouraging words to Sarah Mimner playing a fifth test match tonight. Close to the front of the line out to Ethan McDermott, former basketball star in her youth. She brings that down at the front, but it's been held up by England, turned into a maul. Sarah Hunter and the Red Roses have possession once again. All right, that's fine. Yeah, she does really well to slide around there and um, get her hands on the ball. Obviously, that is classes and more with all those players involved. Um, and there's no way that that's going to be going out. Abby Scott jumps in as well just to help her out. Find. So will England look to attack from this position, just on their own side of their 10 metre line. It's interesting setup here from England. Um, you've actually got Lydia Thompson, who is the right winger, stood in at 12, and Tatiana Hurd just dropped in behind her. Um, this isn't a play that we ever used to play back in my day, which last season. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how they utilise her uh, pace and power. It was just give it to Nolly, Find. wasn't it? Hold your space. Stay. Never yeah, forget that try you scored here a couple of years ago against Canada. What a score that was. Harrison to Hurd. Naupu with the tackle. Hurd gets the pass away to McKenna. Play on. Yeah, it looked like that no, might have been illegal on the floor. It was a good tackle from Bima Considine, but the. A sneaky little hand on the floor, raking it back. England have another penalty. It was a nice play by England. I think if Tatiana Heard had released the ball a little bit earlier to Sarah McKenna, then they might have been able to get a little bit more distance um, in their attacking play. They created the overlap, and as I say, probably about two, two strides earlier, um, and Sarah McKenna would have had a free run. <laughs> Otherwise, first you can see she got completely wrapped up. Good contact from Contadine before she gave away the penalty. 
Walker with the line out throw. Northcroft brings it down, and here comes Vicky Fleetwood. Fleetwood's away. What a burst from Vicky Fleetwood. Here come England. It's Williams. Cut out pass. Livia Thompson. Thompson in and away. Thompson's over. <laughs> it was Sene Naupu coming across. And they may well go upstairs. Try given. Incredible set piece try from England. That is where you want to keep Fleetwood running from the line out. Oh, no, it's not. That should definitely have gone upstairs. And I don't know if we're doing the work defensively. Well, the conversion hasn't been taken, so they'll still go back and have a look. I think we've already seen from that other angle that the try wasn't... The ball wasn't grounded by Lydia Thompson. Incredible heart yeah, from your five, captain five, there, Sene Nupu. Um, Lydia Thompson was desperately no reaching out. And, uh, yeah, really unfortunate, because that would have been straight off the training park, that play. Well, Michael Checker wasn't happy after the Wallabies didn't get a few calls that he wanted against England earlier on. I think Adam Griggs might have been just as unhappy if that try had been awarded. You see Sarah Mimnan wearing number 16 in the green step in at that moment. Vicky Fleetwood bursts from the out there. And here she goes. She's been doing it on a sevens field. It's been brilliant to have her back in 15s. And this is how she's wanted to be running. Good ball transfer as well. Former hooker, of course, oh, Vicky Fleetwood, shit. Lydia Thompson. She's an out and out winger. <laughs> Didn't quite get the try on that occasion. Come Great on, defense Leah. from Sene Naupu, the island Leah. captain. Fine, don't move. So, defensive scrum duties now. There's the power coming on from the Red Roses front eight. They've got the advantage already. And there's the straight arm penalty. Lindsay Pete with a bit of afters with Vicky Cornbra. Riley smiling as well. She's a tough character, our Vicky Cornbra. Let's go. England have opted for the lineup. Abby Scott brings it down, but she's been sacked. Step one. Bottom. One green. Step. Has it at the back, and here she goes, Hannah Bottomman towards the island try line. Hannah Bottomman has the score. That's what she's known for, her ball-carrying ability. And the 19-year-old Saracen has a try for the Red Roses. No grounding. Okay. I think they're going upstairs for this one to make sure that the grounding was there. But if Bottomman does get this try, she's got Vicky Cornbra and Vicky Fleetwood to thank because they gave her the extra oomph from behind okay, to drive so her through the gap. Try, yes or no? Yes. Okay. Um. So it's grounding they're looking for here. I don't think that's been grounded. I think her own hand is stopping it. And Nicola Cronin, the smallest player on the field, has potentially. Amy, I have a decision try. for you. Yes, there is a clear hand under the ball. It is not grounded. Okay. So go back for the penalty. Hold up. <laughs> so it's a Second second. time unlucky for England. This time out of bottom, as you can see the funny side of it. Yeah, as you say, Nicole Cronin, five foot one, has prevented a try to the England tight head prop, Hannah Bottomman. Cronin 
might be a small player, she but she's got the heart of a lion. I've played against her many, many a times in the seven shirt and a 15 shirt. Um, she's been brought back. She's had she's been so many injuries to deal with. Um, so it's good to see her back in the starting shirt for Ireland. Here we go again. More. Attacking line out for England this time, mate. Keep it off the deck. The big white blanket. Heading towards the island try line. They're almost there, England. They're over this time. And there's the try. They won't go upstairs for that one. It's Vicky Cornbra. They're pleased to have got that one after the couple of opportunities missed. And um, you can see her smiling, Vicky Cornbra. There's a lot of unseen work in the pack. Interestingly, in the lineups before, you've seen Leah Lyons go for the sack as soon as Abby Scott hits the ground. She doesn't that time, which allows England um, and Abby to stay on her feet. You see the ball being transferred back. And they'll be happy with that one. McKenna un unable to convert it once again, remains at 15 points to nil. So I think at the moment Sarah McKenna is kicking to post. Oh, there we go. I'm sure she'll watch it this many times as well, Rupert. Yeah, there wasn't much Ireland could do about that one. Some good support here for the Red Roses tonight. Quite a few have stayed in after the, the men have done their thing early on. Here's Sarah Hunter, 100th cap across the road at the Twickenham Stoop against Canada. This time last year, that's been knocked on by Tatiana Hurd. Remember number four? It's a bit, you were close there. Don't come it's the first and time we've up. seen England distribute out the back to the forwards. Knock on white. Hold your space, please. So we've seen a lot more carries, which has given them the platform. I think and they decide to go out the back to Tatiana Hurd. Uh, but she's kind of trying to run away from people. But you can, Crouch. You can see why they want the ball in her Fine. hand. She's a damaging ball carrier. She's someone I coached at Hartbury. As a 16-year-old, she came from up north on, down, to, down to Gloucestershire. Um, very quiet as a person. She's quite sleepy, actually. Um, but she's a determined young lady, having come back from two quite significant knee injuries um, to be in the shirt to tonight. She was born in Pisa, actually, in Italy. Her dad was Six. in the U.S. Army, Steady. spent some time in Maryland in the States, her mum's from Yorkshire, where the family ended up settling. Bursting through the line there was Michelle Claffey. And she might have had the ponytail, okay, given a bit of a yank there. There's Malloy. We might be going back to have another look at that, too. Here's Lindsay Peets. Cronin. Murphy, McDermott to Claffey. So playing one edge. Poppy Cleal drives her back towards her own try line. Nothing for a card now. They go the same way. Here's Friday. That's a good turnover. Dangerous play on the side. Good turnover from Bottomham, but we'll go back. Number 10. I think it's Zoe Harrison who's being called out here. Amy, you've got to yeah, play as she went for the tackle, yeah. she well, also grabbed the ponytail of the ball carrier. Um, which no, pulled back. In my opinion, if your ponytail is hanging down yeah, your back and you go 10. to tackle someone, then that's just unfortunate, but it's deemed a penalty. Yeah, I remember having to George Smith quite a few times, the Australian open side Dangerous with his flowing level. dreadlocks. Okay, Happened a couple of times right, in his yeah. career. I think if you intentionally go to grab the ponytail, then that's very different. If you're reaching out and it's kind of the, one, the last thing that you grab, but it seemed there that it would just be it, as her arms wrapped in the tackle. Um, oh, maybe it was one of the last things that she could grab there. I think she went for jersey, but she got the hair. She wasn't quite close enough for the jersey, Rupert. Well, a smile on the face of 
Sarah Hunter. Tracy, just, just check in there. A couple of words to a young fly half, Sarah Harrison. Another injury here for Ireland. They've already right. lost their fly <laughs> half, Nikki Cohey, and the right. hooker and the Holden are off the field. <laughs> Nicola Friday, I think, getting some attention on the floor. We'll be back in action with the Tyrrells Premier 15s on the 22nd of December. We'll be at the athletic ground in Richmond, where Richmond take on Darlington Moden Park. That's at 12.45 on action and Sky Sports mix, as always. And the Dubai Sevens is back next week. Men and women in action. It's Olympic qualification season on the HSBC Sevens World Series. Got to finish in the top four I think so, on the men's yeah. series to get an automatic spot in Tokyo in 2020. Right. Of course, Team GB, and the men's that is, they want a silver medal. Lost to Fiji in the final. You were there, Nolly, with the Team GB women. I was indeed, and we came the dreaded fourth, Rupert. So I didn't come home with a medal, but came home with lots of incredible memories, having represented Team GB for the first time. I had a long chat to Simon Amor this week. It's going to feature on our Will Greenwood podcast next week, talking about the men's and women's sevens programs. There might well be some tough decisions to make for some of these, for some of the England sevens players in terms of the contracts being dished out and what form of the game they choose to play. There's Lindsay Peake for Ireland. Cronin off the deck. Lyons, the Harlequin, lays it back nicely, but look at that counter up from Hunter and Cleal, but Malloy picks and goes. This is the closest that Ireland have got. Can they find a way over and find some points before half-time? They go the same way. Deacon. More strong defence from England. Here's McDermott, but she can't hold on to it. Aoife McDermott, that line speed from England. What's interesting about the English defence at the moment is they're working in twos. You're seeing one go low, one go high. They're really hounding the ball carrier. And the outside defenders are also working to umbrella up, which is which is stopping um, Ireland have that option to shift the ball. They're getting a little bit indecisive. You can see two people wrapping the ball up, making it hard. Crouch. Find. Hold. Set. City. Into the last five minutes of this first half. England leading Ireland. 15 points to nil. Three tries to the good. Here's Tatiana Hurd, who put... Kelly Smith away for her score. Harrison. It's gone straight down the throat of Laura Sheehan. Sheehan scored a try last week, but she's run into Hannah Bottom. And not I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Cronin to Malloy. Malloy puts the head down. Fleetwood and Allcroft with the tackle that time. Here's Murphy. Murphy shows and goes. Held up in the tackle by Hurd. Lindsay Peet. Working the short side island and making a few yards doing it. It's Jamie Deacon with the carry. Crane has been scragged, so Lyons comes in to play scrum half. Another carry for Aoife McDermott. Ireland need quick ball. Here's the debutante, Julia Short. Murphy around the back to Considine. Switch play to Lindsay Peet again. Kerr with the tackle. Cornbrook goes in for the turnover. Doesn't quite get it. Claffy inside the Lions. That second hit at the ruck from England, they always go in for that counter ruck turnover. Friday. Balls out. No, it's not. Penalty Island. 
Cronin goes quickly, forcing the issue here against England. I don't they need to. Here's Lyons. Sit down, Heather Kerr. Got it, Monage. Deacon. This is better from Ireland. Another penalty. Offside is the call. It's good to see Cronin force the issue there, try and get some pace on the game for the Ireland women. Yeah, it's one of her strengths, as we talked about before. She's a sevens player, um, so she's used to high tempo games, and she's a feisty little player, so she likes to get stuck in when she can. Talking about getting stuck in, there's Lindsay Pete with another carry. Cronin again to short. Hunter, good defence. Murphy. Considine. Considine! Has she got there? Ema Considine may well have found the trial line for Ireland. Yes, she has. So Ireland close out this first half with a deserved score. Bit of possession, bit of territory. And Considine comes up with the try. Yeah, forcing two penalties there from England, probably self-inflicted with what they did, um, but keep on hold of the ball. You can see the umbrella defence from, from England. Lydia Thompson comes up to try and stop them, but if you, in that defensive shape, if you miss a tackle, and the scramble from Vicky Fleetwood just isn't quite enough. Some really good acrobatic skills um, there by Considine to finish off. That's two in two weeks for Ema Considine. Yeah, didn't she do well? Claffy with the conversion attempt won't get that. Remains 15 to 5. Just two minutes ago in this first half. Yeah, Vicky Fleetwood tried to do all that she could, but Considine, really good awareness of where the try line is, even upside down, so back to like front. She finds the line to, to dot it down. Up. That's her second test try, playing a seventh test match tonight. Yep. So Ireland stay in touch. Ten points the difference, McKenna gets us back underway. Here's Nicola Friday. Murphy, she's looked lively. And she's come off the bench for Nikki Kohi. Here's Malloy. Picking goes around the breakdown, brought down by Fleetwood. Quick ball again for Ireland. Here's Pete. Must be into double figures with carries already tonight. Short. Deacon. Cronin back inside. Here's a break for Ireland. Real purple patch for them in this match. That was Nicola Friday with the burst. Cox in the red, final play. Murphy, Lyons, a good line from her. Up to the England 10-metre line. Malloy holds on, finds the pass. Ireland looking for their second score. It's Delaney, Lauren Delaney. What a score from Lauren Delaney. From Furwood, Waterloo, ladies, to Twickenham in London. She has Ireland's second score. Superb individual effort there. We had a show and go, and then we had a clean set of wheels to finish off. And Sarah McKenna is no slouch. Claire Malloy no, does yeah, the damage. Down. Kelly Smith comes up in defence, and Claire Malloy waits, holds to, for Delaney to have the space. Good ball transfer means that Sarah McKenna can't grab her arms around it. Lovely confidence to go for the dummy herself. Good ball transfer. Nice goal. She showed him, and she goaded him. What a score from Delaney. Conversion doesn't make it. Two late tries for Ireland. 
to close out this first half. And perhaps some words to be had for England in the dressing room. The Red Roses leading the Ireland women here at Twickenham at half time. Thanks very much. That last five minutes, Scots of the first half, it just turned in Ireland's favour. Why and what did you say at half time? Yeah, I think it's a, uh, a little bit of momentum lost uh, to the Irish, to be honest. In the, uh, I, I mean, we came out of the blocks the first 10 minutes, was uh, we controlled momentum, controlled, controlled territory, and obviously yeah. reaped some rewards from it. Um, I think the game's been very soft start, TMO being pretty busy again uh, in this game. <laughs> so so look, it's just about us now coming out and controlling, controlling possession, getting it in the right areas, and the points will come. Give these guys a bit longer, or do you bring on those very experienced reinforcements you've got? Look, the World Cup in three years' time is going to be a, it's going to be a squad effort. Um, we've got an enormous amount of talent coming through the pathway. Um, these, girls, these girls are going to be able to going to be able to do a job here. Um, obviously, we've got some reinforcements on the bench who are, we all know what they can do, but this is this is all about squad England, not not just the girls uh, coming to save the day. Best luck in the second half. 15, 10, cracking first half. Let's hope the second half's as good. Over to you, Rupert. Thank you, Gail. We've got a test match on here, folks. England, three tries. It's a curve. Yeah, Smith and Cornbra yeah. and Ireland hitting back just before the break. Sorry. Lauren Delaney and Ema Considine with tries. 15 10 the score. Marley Packer is out there for England. Poppy Cleal picked up a knock just before half time. Some of his enormous experience we will have on the bench. Marley Packer playing a 61st Test match tonight. World Cup winner, of course. Kerr feeds the line out. It's gone forward into the hands of Claire Malloy. Playing advantage here for Ireland. It's up a couple of injuries in the first half themselves. Lost their fly half, Nikki Cohey, although Ellen Murphy on debuts come on and look very handy indeed. There is Murphy. Off to Michelle Claffey, who won a touch rugby World Cup in the summer. There she goes, and she's away, Claffey. Zoe Harrison finally brings it a floor. Here comes Cronin. She was excellent in the first half to short, playing her first test match tonight. Just manages to stay in field. Lindsay Pete, tireless in her work ethic in that first 40 minutes. Murphy again to Malloy, just manages to hold on to it. She had Fleetwood and Cornbra. Heading towards her. She's got it. She did well, the London Wasp. There's Marley Packer going in for the turnover, and she's won it for she England. Won it first. Holding on. Immediate impact ah. from Marley Packer. Yeah, I'm not quite sure about that penalty. Her elbows were firmly on the floor, um, and the laws do state you need to be holding your own body weight. Um, but she was there for a little while, so we'll give it to her. Well, here's another look at it. Elbows did hit the floor eventually, didn't they? I guess Marley Packer would tell us that she had already won the turnover by the time she lost control of her own body weight. Player of the final in the Tyrrells Premier 15's final. Saracens beat Harlequins earlier in the year. And here she goes again, Marley Packer. Perhaps with a point to prove tonight. Left out of the starting 15, Harrison. Flat pass almost intercepted by Considine. Already with a try this evening, she was sniffing another one Fager there. The yeah, Fager. It's a shame it didn't go to hand because I think there's no way anybody, anybody would have caught Considine. Marley Packer and Vicky Fleetwood actually play six and seven at Saracens, so they'll be used to this combination. And as you say, Rupert, she's pretty hungry to get out there and prove a point in that in that role. Yes, so if the ball's coming, it's okay, but it's a it's the back one. And there's the intercept attempt. For Mima Considine. She read it well, just couldn't quite hold on. Excellent. Sure Saracen's teammates, Hannah Bottoman and Marley Packer. Yeah, scored a try in that Six Nations match back in March up in Coventry. Yeah. 
One you'll remember for a long time, no doubt, Nolly. Oh, I occasionally think about it, or it's brought up in conversation. Yeah, the, the one thing that Marley brings isn't just her skill set as a rugby player, it's an intensity, um, and she's also so encouraging to her teammates. Um, she's got just a, a brilliant, positive energy, and she's definitely someone you want on your team. You can see her having fun out there, having a little dance too. Yeah, I was at training at Bisham Abbey the other day, and Marley Packer was holding the bags on defence against the team that was starting against the USA. I tell you what, she wasn't leaving anything out there. Anyone ran towards her with that tackle bag. She was yeah. going in with 100% <laughs> okay. commitment, All shall right, we say. Here we go, ladies. She likes to replicate match intensity. Um, yeah, I think that's a forward thing. I leave that to them. Plumber and gas fitter by trade. Coach. Although, given they're handing out these permanent full-time contracts on the 1st of January, it might be full-time rugby professional from here on in. What's interesting is they've actually kept Vicky Fleetwood at the 7 um, position and Marley's come on at 6. So it would be nice for Vicky Fleetwood to have that opportunity to show what she can do in that role um, with a little bit more freedom and a little bit more space. Six. Over 230 caps among this England back row that's out there on the field at the moment. Good scrum from Ireland. It's wheeled around, but Sarah Hunter picks it up. That's a mismatch, but Cronin does well. Abby Scott scored a try against the USA at Allianz Park a couple of weeks ago. Harrison, quick hands through pack at a third. That's been well read by Claffy. Claffy's defence has been excellent tonight. The Irish inside centre. Cut out past the Williams. Out to Thompson. Lydia Thompson cuts inside. Still going, Thompson. Finally brought down by Friday. Riley has it quickly to Harrison. His bottom and quick hands from her to Hurd. Hurd sees a gap. She goes for it. There's the offload. But that's a good tackle coming in from Claire Malloy, forcing the error. Arden looked to counter through Juliet Short. Friday places it back to Cronin. To Murphy. That's been touched. Everyone's offside. They'll go back for the... Go back for the knock on me, Amy. Knock on and Ireland will yep. set a scrum. No advantage. England seem to do the hard work. They got some really good carries. Yeah, I'm all right here. You can see the damage that Lydia Thompson does. She just keeps pumping her legs. Nice timing of the ball there from Karis Williams as well. I think later on it was a, definitely an opportunity lost if Tatiana Hurd had released the ball. There was four or five white shirts outside her. Coach! Bind! Hold! Results in from Matilda's Premier 15s. Wins for... Harlequins, Wasps, Richmond, Furwood, Waterloo, and Saracens who've gone top of the table with a 29-0 win over the Loughborough Lightning. There it is, Loughborough, their first loss this season. Nice feet from Senet Naupu. Finds Sheehan with the offload. Furwood, Waterloo with that one-point win over the Worcester Valkyries. Valkyries struggling again this season. Quick hands to Lyons. Abby Scott tries to rip the ball away and then goes in for the turnover. There's Abby Scott and there's the penalty. Oh, she's in the she was there. Holding on. Really nice turnover from Abby Scott. and um, getting low in that collision area and keeping keeping her hands on the ball. Um, interestingly, just outside their 22, Ireland get a really good penalty turnover at scrum time, and they opt to run it. And I just think that if they've cleared their lines, they've got a good line out, yeah, um, potentially not trusting their kicking game and their kicking distance uh, to get them off the field. So open at the back. I'll give you time to adjust if they don't give you numbers. I'll give you time. Line-out doesn't quite go to plan for England. It's into the hands of Lindsay Pete. They got the advantage as well. And here comes Pete, the 32-year-old, around the corner. 38, I should say. Fleetwood with the tackle. 
Here's Murphy. Hits and spins. Still playing him on it. Malloy. Yes. Claire Malloy, every time she gets her hands on the ball, she drops her gear and thunders into the England line. Deacon. Had some attention from the trainer a little earlier on. You can see the cotton wool hanging out of the left nostril. Penalty Island. You can see there Claire Malloy just calling to Cronin, slow it down. Um, they're playing a lot of rugby at the moment in their own 22, and it's a long pitch here at Twickenham. Um, you can see the experience yeah, so of Claire Malloy, guys, not only in what she's doing in terms of her physical just, okay, carries and turnovers, but also her intelligence just to get the ball off the field and get a little bit more territory. Yeah, key player for Ireland, that's for sure. Lions, the tight head prop throws the line out once again. Ricky Cornbrook. Wins the ball for England, however. Here's Packer. Into Malloy. Malloy flings Packer to the deck. But England still have it. Kick pass from Harrison in the direction of Thompson. It's gone a little bit too far, but it's gone through the hands of Delaney. Ball still in play. No knock on. And we play on. Here's Naupu. Good turnover. Dangerous kick there from Harrison. And England have the turnover once again. Red Roses leading Ireland women by five points. Three tries in the first half. They had two chalked off. Right on the try line. One for a knock on, one held up. Ireland came roaring back late in the second half. Tries to Considine and Delaney. But here's Zoe Aldcroft. McKenna. Decides to come in from her fullback position and get involved. Turnover Ireland. Balls out. Was that Malloy on the floor once tight again? In. Leah Lyons, the tight head, puts it on the left boot. But it's fallen into the hands of Sheehan. Lydia Thompson tracks back and makes the tackle. That was Fiona Reedy. Who's off the bench for Ireland? Last feet. Cronin again, here's Reedy once more. Lyons, there she is. Real ball player, Leah Lyons. Looking for the offload there, decides to seek salvation on the floor. It's just stuck in there. Bulls not coming out, Ireland going forward, they'll get the scrum feed. HIA. There she is, the baller, Leah Lyons, kicking um, for Ireland. I think it's definitely the right play, and it showed the damage that they can do. They've got speed on the wing with Considine chasing it. A bit scrappy in that breakdown. Right. Nothing wrong with that clearance yeah, from Leah Lyons. I'll tell you what, at the game at the Rico Arena in Coventry, the Six Nations, I forget who she tackled. But she put one of the biggest hits I've seen yeah. on one of your teammates, Nolly <laughs> Warsman, in that game. So, with or without the ball, she's a she's a real threat, is Leah Lyons, the Harlequin. For a front rower, she also gets through a, a huge amount of work. Um, she's come over here to England to play in the Tyrrells Premiership, to develop her game, to take it to the next level. Um, and she's doing a lot of work. You've seen she's actually shifted across into the hooker position, which I think is her preferred position um, in that three. The three favoured dinner party guests, Johnny Wilkinson, Joe Smith and Maggie Alfonsi, according to the team biographers. Thanks, Rupert. That would be a lively conversation, wouldn't it? Here's Sheehan, coming in off the left wing. Bounce pass across to Naupu. That's a battle that's been running all night long Heard versus versus Naupu they're short she hasn't looked out of place on her test debut tonight Cronin kicks off the base McKenna contact in the air is the call just a penalty it was Considine who went up for it 
yeah, good bravery with both players going up in the air. Um, but yeah, you can't touch someone as they're going for the ball. But it was nice to see Ireland actually using a different tactical decision and putting the ball up in the air and competing for it. It's that trailing right arm that grips around Sarah McKenna because um, she is actually looking at the ball. A bit unfortunate. Scott winded in the middle of the line out his Fleetwood. Back to Riley to Tatjana Hurd. Rolling towards the 22, literally. Scott quick hands to Hunter. That second pass. Harrison to Williams, flat pass to Thompson. Lydia Thompson's through one. Just brought down by Delaney. Tackle needed to be made, it was his bottom. It. Heavy defence coming in from Friday. McDermott involved as well. Penalty England. Good go, then you lost it. Kicking to the corner. Lydia Stop Thompson got here. some attention there. Yeah, okay. Some yeah, nice break here oh, by Vicky Fleetwood, shifting the ball, awesome. shifting the point of contact. And Tatiana driving, driving her legs, getting into that 22. <laughs> the one thing you can say when Lydia Thompson gets the ball yeah. is you do not know how far she is actually going to yeah. go. She's so powerful and so quick off the mark. She just doesn't need hardly any room um, to do some damage. And yeah, they're lucky there. But I think she's picked up a slight knock. Yeah, how can we forget that try that Lydia Thompson scored against the Black Ferns in the Rugby World Cup final at Ravenhill last year? A solo effort like you will unlikely see again. It was absolutely brilliant. Of course, the Red Roses end up coming runners up in that tournament. You got numbers? Here, hold her up, pull her. Numbers? She's a you got real numbers? start. No, no, I'm saying. There's Lydia Thompson. Okay, okay, well, then we'll wait. Yeah. So we have time. You can, they can at least do that. Yeah, Lydia Thompson with that try in the World yeah, Cup final. Um, beat no slouch in Portia Woodman. Uh, she That's turned and, and off she went. And as I say, she's just so I'm quick off the mark. You, you really have to be on your toes defensively. Ireland will need to be on their toes defensively here. But they've had a reprieve. They want to put themselves offside. Some of these key errors for, for England. We saw a couple of missed opportunities in the first half. Um, they'll, be, they'll be disappointed with themselves in analysis because these are things that they can probably control, but so potentially so shows that you know, new yep. players involved, um, yes, you are going to get some errors. As you see, as Abby comes down, uh, Zoe Allcroft blocks um, and uh, yeah, get the penalty. You can see what it means to Lindsay Peet. Loving the intensity. From Lindsay Peet. No, through the captain. Cleans up the loose ball for Ireland. Here's Friday. Cronin again. Heavy tackle. Coming in and here coming on the counter. It's Heard. Delaney. Slightly higher. Shoves her towards the sideline. Here's Fleetwood. Managing to slow the ball down ever so slightly. Here's Packer. Runs into Leah Lyons, goes no further. Riley to Harrison, McKenna. Here's Smith off the left wing. Abby Scott. Harrison again decides to kick through. Thompson's onto it. Lydia Thompson sits up nicely. But Lydia Thompson denied in the first half. She has her try for the Red Roses here in the second. You can see what it means to Lydia being able to cross and also all the teammates running around to give her a hug. But some nice build up play. Superb transfer from a 
from her hands to her feet by Zoe Harrison. <laughs> really nice skill. We saw a couple of these rubber kicks in the early in first half. That's a lovely finish from Lydia Thompson. Just watching it two-handed, making sure she's got hold of it. And yeah, good grounding. Yeah, that's how to do it for all the youngsters looking on. Keep your eyes on the prize. She also took her time, Rupert. She watched, as you say, she kept her eyes on the ball, but she put two hands up and wait for the bounce of the ball. Katie Daly-McLean. Off the substitutes bench for England. To win her 102nd cap, assumes that conversion responsibilities. And Rachel Burford's out there for England as well. Here's another look at the trials, a lovely chip through. Five. Really nice finish as you see her hands reaching down, waiting for the ball to pop up. And some nice hugs from her teammates. Yeah, popular figure in the team, Lydia Thompson. Real healthy vibe in this Time back on. Red Roses back. squad. <laughs> Sarah Hunter fields the restart. There's Daly McLean out there for Harrison. Offloads to Marley Packer. Long raking kick from Casey Daly McLean. That's what she can do. Kicks it 60 odd meters downfield. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And all. Keep going. Murphy can keep do going. is bang it back up towards the halfway line. Back into the hands of Daly McLean. Smith, McKenna, McKenna, slightly awkward kick, straight into the hands of Considine, here's Lyons. Murphy again. Clafford. England going for the turnover once more. Fighting at every breakdown, Packer involved again. Burford. Got stuck into that breakdown also. Tackle coming in from Cornbra. Reedy. Brought down by Lark Davis, replacement hooker. Scored a two tries against Canada at Castle Park last week. Did Lark Davis. Slow ball again for Ireland. No, no, use it. Murphy, short ball to Naupu. Well read by Burford. Another loose pass, but it's been well picked up by Delaney. Scored a try herself in the first half, just before the break. Wonderful finish from the Ireland fullback, that was. Lindsay Pete. Former GAA and basketball star, Lindsay Pete kicking off the bases. Cronin has been charged down. England have robbed possession back once again, not for the first time in this match. Heavy tackle from Juliet Short. The Ireland number eight just lifting the leg slightly. Here's Daly McLean to Burford. Lydia Thompson's away again. Thompson in and away. Lydia Thompson, world-class talent. Outstanding finish. to watch ball in hand you can see instantly on the turnover Katie Daly McLean marshalling what does she want where does she want it and it's the ball out the back to Rachel Burford who's got one of the best passes in the game possibly thought it could have gone through one but Lydia Thompson glides through and the pace that took her into the sevens program last season is shown in the 15s shirt she scored a hat-trick on a test debut <laughs> against Spain back in 2012. What a finish from Lydia Thompson. Dana McLean with the conversion. That'll 
just slipped by the left hand upright. We can get the thoughts now of England head coach Simon Middleton. He's with Gail Davis. Right time, didn't I, Simon? What did you make of that finish? Yeah, that's that's what Lydia Thompson gives you. She's uh, unbelievably strong and uh, natural try scorer. And uh, as she just demonstrated there, she was really unlucky not to score that try in the first half, which again was you know a great bit of finishing. It became a bit of a slog that first 20 after the break. What's changed for you? We just talked at our time about getting some continuity and getting some tempo into our game. Uh, yeah, we had a great first 10 and then Ireland absolutely dominated territory and possession for 20-25 for minutes of the game. And So it's just a case of us getting, you know, getting some continuity and, and, and if we couldn't, to play in the right areas of the, of the field. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, what you, that's what you're going to get with, with the Irish girls because they're, they're fantastic competitors and, you know, great experience we've seen and they can play it. So, uh, yeah, it's a tough fight. Your reinforcements are on. Your very experienced reinforcements are on. So what do you want to see now from this group? Yeah, well, I think I think just to, you know, finish the game. Same as we, same as we look for with with all the finishers when they come on, and that's right. a finish song, and, and not to have a, uh, like a lack of continuity in the side. So we try and get them onto the field. And ruthless, ruthless. Yeah. like Eddie Jones has been saying to me for the last month. I'm being ruthless, absolutely ruthless. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so for the rest of the game. Yeah, sit. I got this. I'll do it. Yeah, he's right. got to be a happier man straight. now, Simon Middleton, than he was at half time. Okay. He's got to be a happy man all round, Nolly, given what. He's been able to do with this Red Roses squad this autumn. Six new caps handed out. Some of these single cappers given more experience. And then you've got the likes of Daly McLean, Hunter, Packer, Burford, Fleetwood. World Cup winners. But you can just sprinkle a bit of stardust across the rest of them. Yeah, indeed. And there's also a number of just coming back from injury um, that will bolster the side even more. Fleetwood, good ball and all tackle. As Malloy goes in, she's got Reedy with her. Elsa Hughes, replacement scrum half for Ireland. No! There she is in the 21 shirt. Started against the USA last week. And here she goes, Hughes, finding a gap, offloads to Malloy. Chance here for Ireland, can they make something of it? On the burst here is Adele McMahon. Release! <laughs> Penalty Ireland. Lyons wants a piece of the action. Here she goes, Leah Lyons. 105 kg. But Marley Packer keeps her out. She hung around two on the floor there to Marley Packer. No advantage coming. Here's McDermott. Hughes, Murphy, Claffy running out of the line was Williams. Claffy still going. Packer with another tackle. Malloy, just a couple of metres out now, Ireland. Can they score here and really put the pressure back on England? Lindsay Peake wants it. Here she goes. Driven over by Considine almost. Ireland going the same way. Here's Malloy! Claire Malloy! The Wasp shows that Ireland still has some sting. Nice patient build up there by the Irish. Um, some really strong carries where they weren't isolated. They normally had a friend on them on their hip to carry them over. Thank you, Neil and some points for all of the hard work she's been doing throughout this game. What a response from Ireland, conceding at the other end. And it was Lyons who <laughs> took the initiative, <laughs> kept the momentum going. And a fine finish from Malloy. Yeah, he just ended up with mismatches all over the place. You've got backs defending big, strong ball carriers. She runs through two back three. I don't think you're going to stop her there. You talk about triple threat. Here's Leah Lyons. Tight head prop, throws the line out. Kicks goals as well, but not on that occasion. 
They look good, don't they? When they when they pick up the pace, this Island women team, when they get some urgency, some intensity, when they play with pace, they look very threatening. And also when they play in the right areas of the field, they're doing all of this, but in their own their own third. When they've got into the English half, especially into the 22, it's then so much more damaging because you're so much closer to the dry line. Game on at Twickenham. Here's Ema Considine. Hughes. Good yards made from Delaney. Reedy. Lauren Feely with the carry there. Here's Murphy again. She's looked very impressive. Had to come on very early on in this game. Starting fly half, Nikki Coe, he went off and Murphy looks the goods. Here's Malloy again, the try scorer. Almost bursting out of the tackle of Lark Davis there. Hughes goes the same way. Cut out ball to Considine. Every time she gets near the ball, something seems to happen as well. Lines with lovely hands to Claire McLaughlin. Hughes again to Murphy. Reedy. Brought down by Kath O'Donnell. Out of the Luffra Lightning. Naopu, quick hands to Delaney. Counter ruck from England. It's Marley Packer wreaking havoc That's at the breakdown as she often tends to do. Ethan McDermott picks and goes. Some really good defensive work by England, just not only making their tackles but slowing the ball down and making it just impossible, really, for Ireland to find options and any space. Finding some cheap yards just around the breakdown there. Do Ireland up to the halfway line. Elsa Hughes with the signal behind the back saying we're going to go the same way. Juliet Shorts, former England under 20s. Very impressive on her test debut. That was a slightly audacious round the back pass from Leah Lyons. She has got the playbook out tonight, hasn't she? Great to watch. Murphy. Line speed from England again. Abby Scott. Making the tackle. Counter ruck good. good, says the referee. Do England have it again? They've got the turnover. And here comes Kath O'Donnell. Riley. Daly McLean decides to kick. It's been charged down. Everyone on side. So England. Will click back into action. Lyons is on the floor with an injury. injury. She's holding her right leg Might there. Be. Just grab her and get it to wipe her blood. Island lucky there. They only had one person in the backfield. Yeah, exactly. Katie Daly-McLean had spotted it and she had her chasers outside her. Um, but that defensive work, you could hear yeah. Rachel Burford coming Stop. over the ref mic in her hit call. Um, and it was a hit by by Abby Scott that got them the turnover. Uh, really good intensity, and that's what you want from your finishers, to lift the energy in the team and to lift the, the work rate um, to force that error and get the ball back. Marley Packer with a bit of a knock, a bit of attention for her. Captain, can I ask you a favour, please? So the girls are appealing quite a lot at the breakdown. For me, the tacklers are on the side and the ball's available. Okay. But if they're going to keep screaming, tackle not running, so it makes life difficult, you know? Let's just, just give me a run. If it's a big infringement, I'll get it. All gets right, a wrist. Fine. Here's Katie yeah, Daly McLean. Made a test debut up at Old Albanians alongside Sarah Hunter. They <laughs> both came off the bench for holding. The England that night back in 2012. Laura Sheehan's been yeah. replaced. Perfect. Let's go, Green. Let's go. Let's go. Get in. So, Eleanor Perry on for Vicky Cornbra. Option. Uh, Claire. Okay, you 
want and the line Baben up? Parsons you want the line up? has come on for Laura good Sheehan. Job. Baben Parsons. Yeah, we're playing the line up. Yeah, good. So it's not going to touch. Playing her second yeah, test match. Uh, would you believe it? Just 16 years of age. She turned 17 on the 30th of this month. She has to get permission from her parents to play in this game because she's still at school. Had a six-minute cameo against the USA and Donnybrook last week, almost scored with a first touch. Let's see what the, she can do tonight here at Twickenham. And I thought I was young at 18, earning my international stripes. Absolutely brilliant. And she's got some sparkly boots on there as well. Um, to play out here at Twickenham. What an occasion for her. There she is, hands at the ready. England leading Ireland, 25-15, into the final 10 minutes here at Twickenham Stadium. England went out to a, an early 15-0 lead, and Ireland fought back with two tries just before the break. Normal service resumed at the start of the second half. Lydia Thompson with a double, but a try to Claire Malloy has kept Ireland in it. There's Murphy. Wipers kick in behind Kelly Smith. Counter-attacking opportunity for Kelly Smith. Try score herself in the first half, but how's that for a chase and tackle from the replacement scrum half Hughes? But here goes Katie Daly McLean. She's found Fleetwood. Riley goes the same way to Packer. Good tackle from Reedy. Eleanor Perry. Made her debut against the USA. Two caps before coming on here tonight. Here's Riley again. Williams finds the offload to McKenna. To Thompson. Lydia Thompson. Already two tries tonight. Just manages to stay in field. Riley keeps it alive. Shauna Brown. Formerly a loose forward. Now a prop forward. Steals another couple of metres at the second go. Williams scored a try on her test Williams. debut a couple of weeks ago in North London. Daly McLean. Slightly odd-looking kick, went flat and right across field. And then everybody was offside. Very bizarre choice from Katie Daly-McLean. Not quite sure what she was trying to do there. Elsa Hughes offloads to Michelle Claffey. And they go the same way. Ethan McDermott back inside to Malloy. She's been very impressive for the Ireland women She's tonight, says Dr Claire Malloy. Have England got another turnover here, and they snatched another one. They've really had a lift off the bench. So much depth with the Red Roses, and Raleigh's almost found a gap. Offloads the Packer up to the 22. Lot 17, you lost it now. Raleigh wants it quickly. Show and go, here's Brown, Shauna Brown. Plays a rugby for Harlequins across the road at the Twickenham Stoop. Daly McLean, here's Williams. To Thompson, and there's the hat trick. Lydia Thompson, a triple at Twickenham. I couldn't ask for a better player, I think, to get that hat trick. She's come back into this 15s game um, and just used everything that she's got from the sevens in terms of building her confidence, building her skill set. Great calm player um, and probably one of the nicest people I know, Rupert. It was a good go forward from Shauna Brown, wasn't it? Yeah, once they got, McLean saw the space. Once they got in behind, um, some really nice, unselfish play uh, from Karis Williams. Lydia Thompson had to do a little bit to make sure she didn't knock at her for knees. But a hat trick in the space of 18 minutes isn't bad, is it? 18 minutes, second half hat trick. As you say, not bad at all. Lydia Thompson. Born to score tries. 
Still haven't had a conversion tonight. Or a successful one at least. It's been a little bit disappointing seeing the kicking, but here we go, ball out of hand, into space. Nice little pump from Karis Williams, who she had to do a bit of work, but it was on the way down to the try line, luckily, and fell over. So England out to a 15-point advantage once again. Shauna Brown fields the restart. All of these Red Roses substitutes making impacts. There's Daly McLean at Marley Packer. And Casey Daly McLean, the Centurion, decides to kick again. Here's Delaney. Gets the handoff going on. Thompson, but she can't nice. quite hold on to it. Knock on into touch. Olivia oh, Thompson backing up her try well. Watch him. Play on. England go quickly. Rachel Burford switches play. Here's Daly McLean, quick hands. Thompson back inside to Williams. Knock on White. Yeah, it's just gone forward there. One of the things that Katie Daly McLean has brought in is, is, the, is the length of her kick. Um, but also the energy from the English defensive line in terms of our kick chase uh, is really important to make sure that you shut the ball down. If you're going to give over possession, you need to make sure that they don't gain a lot of territory. Okay. We've only got about three and a half minutes, guys. We've got an Ireland player down getting some treatment. It's that time, Nolly. Who's your quilter player of the match? I think scoring one try at Twickenham is a real honour. Um, scoring two is pretty good, minutes. but scoring three yep. is a massive, um, massive hat tip. And Lydia Thompson deserves player of the match. Back from sevens. And back scoring tries for the Red Roses, Lydia Thompson. She just makes it so, looks so easy. She glides around, but it's incredibly quick across the ground. I'd also like to mention the other 14 on the field. Constantine, um, every time she's had her hands on the ball, she looks, she's looked dangerous. Claire Malloy got through a lot of work. Just like all of the, basically all of the back row um, in the white shirts as well. Olivia Thompson scored a hat-trick in her very first test match back in 2012. And she's got another one here tonight at Twickenham. Here's Claffy. She has not stopped running all night long. No 20! No 20! No 20! Approaching the final two minutes here. Here's Malloy. Tireless once again. Hughes. To Murphy, can't sit it. High tackle from Kelly Smith. Dennis tackle. Hughes goes quickly. Thank you. Offload to Malloy. Can the Ireland women finish on a high here? Naupu, her first Test match as captain, offloads the ball to Parsons, the 16-year-old. And Lydia Thompson puts her into touch. I think she even pointed to the touchline before she made that tackle. Parsons, she's quick, isn't she? She is. But the defensive effort from Lydia Thompson, I think, was always going to use the touchline in her favour. Taylor McLean. Stay 19-5. Good now, good now, thank you. Just bounces past Delaney. And here comes the Ireland fullback. Shows and goes. <laughs> Juliet Short. Played Leave well on her test debut for Ireland. Aoife McDermott. To Feely. Good turnover. These two teams will meet in the opening game of the Six Nations. In February, and here's Katie Daly McLean. 
Offloads. Olivia Thompson already has three. She's got the ball in space once again. Cutting inside. Tackle coming in from Considine off the right wing. Still alive for England. Dalian McLean. It's Lark Davis. Gets the offload away to Smith. Just short, Kelly Smith. Sideways, that. Perry. Kath O'Donnell has the try. <laughs> Catherine O'Donnell from the Loughborough Lightning will seal the deal for the Red Roses <laughs> and confirm a clean sweep this November. You can really see the impact of the finishers coming onto the field. You can see her Loughborough Lightning teammates going over and congratulating her, giving an extra special cuddle and hug. But lovely interlinking play from the forwards and the backs, the Red Roses. There's some tired Irish bodies out there in defence. Lovely pass there by Eleanor Perry. And lucky to not quite get that pass over there, but good reactions from Kelly Smith. And there's not many people who are going to stop that close to the line. Cathay Donald is a strong, powerful woman. And we have a successful conversion. Katie Taylor McLean bangs it over. It's full time here at Twickenham. And the Red Roses have beaten the Ireland women by 37 points to 15.